Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm Daniel Baudry and for the next minutes I will be discussing our recent paper entitled Oocyte Retrieval Timing Based on Spontaneous Late Search During Natural Cycle IVF Treatment, published in Fertility and Sterility in February 2014. Although the first successful IVF treatment was performed in an unstimulated cycle, it was quickly abandoned in favor of controlled ovarian hyperstimulation, which has become the standard of care. In recent years, however, a renewed interest has emerged in patient-friendly, low-risk and cost-effective fertility treatments, and natural cycle IVF was rediscovered. Since 1994, Keto Ladies Clinic in Tokyo has pioneered the development of mild IVF approaches in Japan. At KLC and at its other affiliate branches, including our center, natural cycle IVF represented a significant proportion of all treatments and considerable experience was gathered in its optimal management. The aim of the present retrospective study was to analyze the effectiveness of oocyte retrieval scheduling based solely on the occurrence of spontaneous LH surge during natural cycle IVF treatment. This review included all consecutive patients who were scheduled to perform oocyte retrieval in an unstimulated cycle between 2008 and 2011. This option was routinely offered to normally cycling women as a first drug-free and cost-effective treatment before starting a series of clomiphene-based minimal stimulation cycles. Patients were not selected and this treatment option was offered over a wide age range. The scheduling strategy during natural cycle IVF treatment is summarized in the next slides. The retrospective cohort was divided in five subgroups according to the presumed stage of spontaneous LH surge on scheduling day. For triggering, a gene array agonist was used exclusively in form of a nasal spray and HCG was avoided completely. When the leading follicle reached 16 to 20 millimeters with an E2 level of approximately 200 to 250 picograms per mil, oocyte retrieval was scheduled according to the presumed stage of spontaneous LH surge. For groups A, 1A, pre-surge and 1B, surge start, Triggering was performed around midnight and OSAT retrieval was scheduled two days later at the 30 to 36 hours interval. With ascending LH levels, OSAT retrieval was anticipated for the next day performed during morning or afternoon working hours and scheduled between 15 to 31 hours after the examination. The GNRA agonist triggering dose was either administered immediately after the examination in group 2 or in case of even higher LH levels, group 3, it was omitted. In very few cases, if the surge was already on its descending side, group 4, oocyte retrieval could even be scheduled for the same day. With the exception of group 4, in all subgroups, low-dose non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs were systematically used to diminish the risk of premature ovulation. In our center, retrievals could be scheduled for any day of the week between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., and the whole procedure usually only took 5-6 minutes. Transvaginal ultrasound-guided oocyte retrieval was performed without anesthesia using a very thin 21-22 TG needle without follicle or flushing. Baseline characteristics of the included patients are summarized here. About 60% were older than 38 years at starting treatment. Mean BMI was low as expected in the Japanese population. Most patients had primary infertility and were nulliparous. Among infertility causes, Bologna poor responders were overrepresented. Only few patients did not have any previous fertility treatment, and most of them had already undergone conventional and or minimal IVF treatment cycles at other centers. The proportion of cycles with successfully recovered, inseminated, and fertilized oocytes and cleaved embryos was not significantly different between subgroups. For the entire cohort, live birth rate per embryo transfer and scheduled oocyte retrieval was 29 and 6.5 percent respectively. In conclusion, during natural cycle IVF treatment, oocyte retrieval timing based on the occurrence of spontaneous LH surge is feasible, yielding acceptable oocyte recovery, fertilization, and embryo cleavage rates. This strategy, combined with a rapid and low-risk oocyte retrieval procedure, permits the management of a large natural cycle IVF program on a seven days week basis within working hours. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the contribution of the whole staff of Kobamutomachi Yume Clinic 
and I am especially thankful for their outstanding support provided during my stay in Japan.